Are banks the way to go or is the future in decentralized finance? Let's start the countdown and find out. Welcome to the Investor Place Launchpad, where we take trending investment ideas and try to take them to the moon. I'm head of mission control, Aaron Davis, and this week we're going deeper into the world of DeFi or decentralized finance, a relatively new niche in the crypto space that has developed a completely unique ecosystem of financial applications that are built on the foundations of crypto networks like Ethereum. Before we dive in, we'd love to continue to grow our channel here at Investor Place, so feel free to hit that like and subscribe button and smash that notification bell to stay up to date with us here at the Launchpad. With all of that out of the way, let's dig a little deeper into the world of DeFi and see where it might take us. DeFi, or decentralized finance, is another innovative practice that looks to completely remove the idea of banks controlling money. DeFi projects essentially function the same as normal banks, providing a place to store, borrow, and earn interest. The difference between a bank and a DeFi project rests in how a DeFi project is run. Unlike a bank that has a physical space, tellers, and executives, DeFi projects exist entirely on the blockchain as software, discarding the need for people and relying solely on the software and blockchain to manage money. Because blockchain technology is the foundation for the trust of cryptocurrency, DeFi projects are seen as the next step, as an extension of a technology that already exists. With $93 billion worth of DeFi assets in the crypto market as of this past June, DeFi seems to be as much of a movement away from banks as it is a movement towards the idea of crowdsourced banking. While the idea of DeFi certainly has faced scrutiny, see last week's launchpad on Litecoin, the concept and applications as a whole remains relatively unregulated, allowing individuals designing DeFi apps free reign in how this new era of disintermediation can be run. Fortune.com calls the reshaping of this financial structure as a grand rewiring of wealth. The nerds are taking charge. They're swapping out the Brooks Brothers suits for blockchains. Software is finally eating finance. But what are some examples of actual DeFi apps and their functionality? WonderFi, a new public company, ticker WNDR, is one of these apps that not only acts as a DeFi app, but also looks to bring, quote, fair, efficient, and accessible finance to the masses, end quote. WonderFi's mission is to close the gap of understanding and education regarding decentralized finance to new investors, all while creating a structured platform that looks to aggregate different cryptocurrencies into a single space. Cosmos is another decentralized version of the internet that allows blockchains to communicate efficiently through an ecosystem of blockchains with its own apps and services that utilize this efficiency. Community owned and operated, there are over 253 apps on the service with $104 billion of digital assets under management. Investors can invest through the Cosmos's Atom altcoin, which saw record highs last Monday at $37.50, a price up 485% since the start of the year. Ultimately, these apps function more or less the same as a traditional, as a traditional bank, just without the mediation of people and regulations. But what does the future of DeFi look like? Investor Place market analyst Tom Young took a deeper dive into some of the fallout from the recent flash crash and examined some of the DeFi tokens that will, quote, grease the wheels of crypto finance, allowing investors to trade in liquidity pools that lower transaction fees. Young posits that as investors begin to rely on DeFi more, that the following coins may be poised to benefit from the future that DeFi presents. Here are Young's takeaways. With Binance, he sees the lower transaction rates as a huge plus. PancakeSwap is the world's largest DeFi platform by number of users with a large developer base, low fees, simple setup, and strong security, all while allowing users to farm cryptocurrencies through the platform. Uniswap, a competitor to PancakeSwap, is the largest Ethereum-based automated market maker and creates liquidity pools, a means to where liquidity providers receive a small commission for each purchase. Young sees Chainlink's biggest draw as being a smart crypto that is designed to send payment immediately upon completion of a smart contract using a vast oracle that takes in outside world data points. And lastly, Terra is an entire ecosystem of stablecoins and payment systems particularly popular among South Korean merchants that could potentially rival similar platforms like PayPal and Western Union. Young further illustrates that these picks are effectively larger DeFi players, which is by design, stating, 
larger liquidity pools are more attractive to traders, meaning that dominant players will tend to succeed over smaller ones. But what do you think? Can DeFi upset the traditional banking system? What ecosystems are you a part of? Is DeFi the future of finance? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Well, that's all we have from the Launchpad this week. If you'd like more insights like this, head on over to InvestorPlace.com, where we will continue to watch for trends like DeFi, and as always, try to shoot for the moon.